we've unveiled the 2020 Green Bay Women's Basketball Bracket and the 16 competitors, we're gonna take it down south as we have an analyst that we think is going to provide some really great insight. Let me just double check on set to see if she's ready to go. Helen, can you hear us? Can you hear us in the studio? Yeah, I can, I can hear you, Nelly, I can hear you. Oh, good, 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 all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. How are your folks doing down there? Oh, the Queen Bee and Clark, they're doing great. They're taking the dog on the walk all the time. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, we hope that we don't take any more of your time, but I just thought you would have some really great perspective into these matchups, and I didn't want to miss the opportunity to connect with you so you can tell us what we think. So how about we start with the Horizon League region? What are you thinking? Who are you going to think is going to advance? What are your thoughts? Let us know. Yeah, this, this region is really interesting. You know, you have two coaches going head to head. Um, I'm not going to say that Coach Borseth is old by any means, but he is definitely seasoned. So his song selections could be very vast. I think, though, having Megan Pingle in that region is something that puts the other competitors at a little bit of a disadvantage. The couple practices that I was attending, Pingle was just before practice, after practice, she just really loved to perform. Um, some people compare her to Ariana Grande. So if I have to pick anyone out of that region, um, I do think Megan Pingle will be the one in the final four. But hey, it is April. It's anybody's game. Anyone could advance, but I think you're sitting really pretty right there with your, with your Megan Pingle guess. Yes. Thank you. All right, let's head on down to the Phoenix region. What are you thinking with that region? It, it could very well be the most dynamic and difficult region to get out of. I don't know if the selection committee got that right. You know, Nelly, I would agree with you. I, I do think this is the most difficult region. These personalities of these student athletes are so different. You know, you have the seniority of Francesca Wirtz, so I could see her um, being very mature in this role. That girl also loves to Zumba. Some hips don't lie, Shakira type of movement to some waka waka. We saw her do that in a presser before. I, I do think she's well seasoned, but here's a, here's a little clip of Anna Deer when they were traveling down to the Horizon League tournament. She just has such long legs. You know, she's got that niece, Baby Marin, who, who came to all their home games and would get on the screen for doing Baby Shark. Now you go to Wiggy and Robbie up at the top of that region. That's gonna be any woman's game. They are creative. They listen to a lot of different music, but again, I think that's a difficult region. I don't even want to say who's going to make it out of it. Um, it's going to be surely competitive. It's going to be fun to watch, Nelly. Absolutely. So you're not going to pick anyone from that, from that Phoenix region, are you? Whoever gets out of that region may fare very well in the final four. We're halfway through the bracketology right now. We are going to head on over to the Green Bay region. You know, I don't know if you saw some of the team's recent TikToks, Nelly, but Coach Bronk and Clyde Mann Jr., they had some very creative and unique TikToks. You know, I could see Bronk maybe out in the wilderness somewhere in a tree, and then Clyde, you know, he, he is slick. He's got those moves. He might incorporate some family members, so that one, I just, I don't know about that one, Nelly. That, that might be the most even matchup that the committee put, up, put forward. And then the bottom of that region, you don't know either. You have Kaylin Hibner, who I know is an outstanding student. She, she's a thinker. So if she doesn't outthink herself and be too worried about what she puts out there, you know, she, she could advance. And then Patty Galasova, I don't know how they dance in the check and sing. It'll depend on what song she brings. I know that girl loves High School Musical. That is anybody's race right there to win. It's, it's gonna come down to who can take it song by song and who has the best song selection, Nelly. I don't know if I agree with that, but Helen, what are your thoughts on that final region, which is the Crest Event Center region? When I was, when I was watching you unveil the bracket, I could not believe they put Madison and Mackenzie Wolf on the, in the same region and having to face one another. One thing I think that is gonna make it really difficult for anyone to beat the twins mm -hmm. is their vast knowledge of music. Now you have Brooklyn and Haley Oski. Um, you don't really know about their personalities and if they would be good in this, but that's I think what makes a great Cinderella story here. So I wouldn't count them out yet, but Nelly, this is exciting time. All four regions are stacked. I'm just gonna be on the edge of my seat with some popcorn, really just watching how these shows unfold. 
Helen, thank you so much for being here today. It was great to get to catch up with you. Hope your folks and your family down there in Wichita are doing well. We're bound to see as people that have just tried to perform day in and day out to get to where they are today. I do not think that any of these players and coaching staff members are going to take this opportunity for granted. They can't overlook their opponents and look ahead two and three rounds down the line. It's gonna be critical and crucial, um, especially because Green Bay Phoenix fans are gonna be the ones voting them through. Voting will end at midnight on Sunday. Much love, Phoenix country. Over and out.